This is a spelling bee that was produced by a caveman. Your word is... Ra'ok! Are you okay? That is correct. Congratulations, you win. What is happening? Alright, so um, first thing we're going to do is do the clock overlay. So you're going to add a circle shape and increase the size to however you like. Then we're going to add a stroke, so go to border and shadows, then enable stroke, and then uh, change the color to white, and we'll adjust the size to about 45 I guess yeah I think that looks good and then we're gonna go to color color and fill and then select this there you go now we're going to add the lines so um, add a square shape layer and then split the width and the height by clicking on this and then we're going to adjust the width we're going to decrease it and then we're going to change the color to white and then we're just going to move it so it goes to the edge of the circle about that maybe we can decrease the height as well just a little bit yep I think that's good and then you're going to duplicate it then change the rotation to negative 30 like so and then we're going to just put that somewhere around here maybe maybe Okay, maybe 40, my bad. Okay, so 40. And then... Change it... I mean, place it there. And then duplicate it again. And then this time we're going to... Adjust it to 60. About here, maybe. Uh, we'll adjust it later. Um, next thing we're going to do is duplicate it again, then change the um, angle to negative 90, and then put it at the very middle, like so. Okay, now we're going to adjust it. Okay, so we're going to adjust this, put it there. Okay, that's starting to look better. Right, I think that looks better now. Here you go. Um, then next thing you're going to do is again duplicate the layer, and this time we're gonna change it. Um, the angle we're gonna change it to positive. 40 so just 40 all right not negative and then actually you know 60 my bad there you go and then we're gonna line it up with this one right here with this one so just line it up like so okay next thing um, we're going to duplicate it again and now this time we're going to change the angle to 40 and then line it up again there you go and then duplicate it and change the angle back to zero and there you go now um, for the rest we're just going to select these layers Alright, only these layers, alright. And then we're going to uh, group them. 
and then duplicate them and then select the duplicated layer and then add a flip layer then change the angle to 180 oops and then we just put it in the other side so now we have a full clock now we just need the hands so again we're going to put a rectangle shape or a square shape there we go um, it'd be good if you just put a circle a circle shape and then reduce the the uh, the size and then change it to black so you know where the center is we change this one to white so now we can adjust it there you go so that's the long hand now we're gonna do the short hand so we'll just the height there you go and then up here there you go so now we got this um, next thing we're going to do is select one of the hands so we'll start with the short hand and then you're, you're gonna zoom in for this one so zoom in and then you're going to move and transform there you go and then click this once and this will let you change the pivot point so you're going to you see this pivot point you're going to move it at this very center like so might not be able to see it because there's a black circle so you can change that to white or just remove it but um, there you go um, I think that's the center but to make sure we'll go to the um, the black uh, circle shape then we'll reduce the size now we can adjust it again and as you can see I think that's good enough that looks, yep so um, you're just gonna do the same thing for the long hand just change the pivot point like so and then what this uh, what what this does is um, if you rotate this, as you can see, the pivot point is at the end of the um, the shape. So now we're just gonna do the movement. So let's say we're going from one o'clock all the way to maybe two o'clock. So you just do that and then the long hand is going to do a full rotate because um, it's gonna be an hour so yep um, maybe another like maybe right here but we're gonna adjust the short hand because obviously it's gonna move as well so now we have this there you go and the last thing we're going to do is add a motion blur to these hands and there you go there's your clock overlay now we're just going to group them all together like so Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is, um, I'm just gonna show you an example on how you could use this overlay. So we're gonna add an image here. Then, um, we're going to add a shadow here. There you go, and then place it wherever you want. There you go. We're just gonna do the same thing we did on my violet 
Evergarden edit. And then um, what I did there, uh, I duplicated this and then changed the size, moved it there and then changed the opacity and then add a effect called flip layer and then I just change the axis and the angle like so there and then I just duplicated it multiple times oops not that um, this so I just duplicated this multiple times change the size and all and then go to flip layer and then change the axis like so and I did do a fade in so we're gonna do that fades in like that do the same thing here okay and now um, we're gonna add a camera there you go and turn on camera make sure it's turned on then go to scale then set the first keyframe like so maybe increase it a little bit more and then we're gonna add two keyframes here and go to Z, then increase the second keyframe, then go to XY, and then move to the clock, move the camera to the clock, and then we're gonna add this graph here. There you go. Just move the keyframe here a little bit. Adjust the graph. And now go back to scale. Add two keyframes there. And zooms out. Boom. And that's how I did it. Um, you're just gonna add a tiles here, tiles effect here on the image and then you're good and then just add motion blur now um, yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I hope you learned something new today peace